So, y'all, I think that George R. R. Martin just teased some kind of spinoff or something with Arya Stark. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, I'm going to read y'all really quick what George said. I'm not going to read the full blog post, uh, but if you want to see his full blog post, make sure you check the link in my description so you can read it. But it's just a couple of sentences um, from the post that I'm going to be talking about. So he said, we also got together with Macy Williams for pizza and pasta and talked about, well, no, better not get into that. Do not want to jinx it, but it could be so much fun. Now, first of all, what do you think they could be talking about? Because y'all didn't try to give us a Jon Snow uh, sequel and y'all couldn't find a story. And it's just, I don't know how y'all were going to be able to find a story with Jon Snow. And it's just absolutely no shade. But unless his head is being served to me, a Daenerys Targaryen loyalist on a platter, then there's really nothing else that me and Jon Snow have to talk about. Unless Grey Worm is going to whip that uh, spear straight through that chest. There's nothing that we that we need to, unless the Dothraki are going to respawn again and 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 take revenge on Jon Snow for killing their I mean queen. There's just absolutely no way that y'all going to convince me that Jon Snow need to be here. Like I don't need to be seeing Jon Snow face in my face. Period. But then when you're talking about Arya, I'm just like, "Hmm, because the thing with Arya is that y'all don't really need the story to make sense like that." <laughs> And what I mean by that is, like, when you're talking about Jon Snow and stuff, like, it big events, I feel like, need to happen in the show to keep the stuff going. But then it's just like, what can y'all even do afterward? But with Arya, I feel like she's a very, like, action-adventure kind of girl, very m moving around West or Planetos, whatever, um, for her own kinds of adventures. And, and that could really develop into something fun. Now, it could either be just spin spinning our gears for a season, a couple seasons of just fan service of going around to different places, different sites within George R. R. Martin's world. But then I'm just like, like it could, it could either be that where we're just twirling around, just lollygagging around, or y'all could like really develop something fun. But like, I think my issues with the sequels is that you know, the main show already had to make a bunch of stuff up because George, George George ain't finished with the books. So I think, you know, no matter what it is, you know, I just think we are treading in very dangerous water when we're talking about moving forward after the events of the original Game of Thrones series, which is why I think House of the Dragon, even though it's annoying me, some the, the showrunners are annoying me sometimes. Oh my gosh, they annoy me so bad. But that's why I think House of the Dragon works. Um, that's why I think Aegon the um Aegon's Conquest, the, the TV show, is going to work. And then if you were not aware, uh, by the way, I did a video on this, but uh, apparently there is a Game of Thrones movie that's in development. The rumors are circulating that it's probably going to be about old Valyria or the doom, like just the doom of Valyria and that. And then that movie, that big, um, it would be so crazy to see the doom in IMAX. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do not play with me. It would just be so crazy. So then that movie would lead us directly into Aegon's, the, like, the TV show of Aegon's Conquest. And I'm like, okay, that's perfect. Like, even though I did want, like, a TV show of Old Valyria, because I feel like that would be crazy to see how magic worked back then, to see how politics worked back then, to see, like, what the truth was. Like, did they really cause the doom? Like, who caused the doom? Was it something that was caused? Like, what, like, they was trying to hold the magic back, and then they weren't able to anymore? Like, was the TV? I would love a TV show, but I think a movie is a really good option, too, because, like, that is... Seeing that, seeing the Doom, seeing Dragon, seeing all that stuff in the theater, in IMAX, I think I would get my life. I would get my life, y'all. Like, I would get my life. So, that's why I personally think... Because the stories... Because George's stories, like, not written, not written yet completely... I think it makes sense to just go back in time. I feel like the showrunners, even though they've proven to me that, you know, just because you have a blueprint don't mean that you won't do, go, do right by it. But I think that at the very least, the way that HBO picking these showrunners, I wish that they were like Amazon where they they pick their showrunner, at least for Wheel of Time, because I'm like, Rafe is so good. Like, like Rafe is so good. Uh, Rafe Judkins. But 
either way, HBO, the way that y'all pick these showrunners, they gon' they gon' need a uh, story already written. They just need to adapt something that's already written. Unless George himself is gonna be writing this show, this Arya show. Like, I just don't know if I could trust y'all. Like, I, I barely trust y'all with the prequels. Like, I barely trust. So you mean to tell me that y'all y'all messed it up so bad because not only because the writers, Dan and Dave, whoever, were just incompetent, but y'all, the story, the book's not complete. At least, go, you know, for so for future events, I think HBO standing on shaky ground. That's why y'all just need to go back. That's why I think these this um, Ovalyria, um, movie is such a good idea. I think Aegon's Conquest is good. House of the Dragon, y'all, y'all slaying that. I guess like numbers wise, y'all, y'all making me mad. Like some plot, some, some decisions y'all making, making me mad. But like at least y'all have a story that y'all can pretend like y'all gonna follow. The future, when we're talking about you know events happening after the the Game of Thrones series, it's just like I don't know if I could trust y'all with that. <laughs> I simply do not know if I could trust y'all with that. But I guess I'm thinking, like, because of the nature of Arya's, like, I mean, she got shape-shifting abilities. She can fight. Um, she's very knowledgeable at this point. So because of all of those things, I think a show with her could be very exciting. It, but it just depends on how y'all do it, y'all. Like, it really depends. And and then it's going to feel... Some, I don't know. I, I get very scared that... It's going to feel empty because of, like, so many characters will be missing, you know? And I'm sure they can build new... Obviously, they're going to have new characters, new places, new whatever. But I am just like, girl, I, if I see Arya, I'm going to want to see, like, Drogon. I'm going I'm I'm to wanna see Daenerys. I want to see all the characters that I love that are still alive, you know what I mean? And so... It's just, I feel, I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, what people want is just a retcon of <laughs> of that terrible season, like of season eight. Like, I think that's what we want. And so I am just making sure that we're not getting, how should I say? Like things aren't getting murky because like, are we going to try and live out? Yes, we definitely are going to try and live out our retcon fantasies. We're going to try and live out our retcon fantasies. Um with this with any show that comes after the uh main events of the uh, or the, the events of the main series i feel like we're just gonna be trying to get some fan service and it's like that's fine but i don't want it to be a season of us just spinning our wheels like uh, just like twirl oh now Arya's here now she's here and what are we doing like blah, blah, blah. and like obviously this is george's work and he's talking about it so like who am i to but what i'm saying is that if it was just george doing it if it was just george and macy doing it and people that we could trust, like, I'd be like, okay, fine. But, girl, HBO picked these tired showrunners. HBO picked these tired... I don't know how, like, for regular job, regular, regular job, people be interviewing two and three times, right? But they... How y'all ain't vet... Girl, and I guess the whole point of these TV shows is to make money, and, and they're doing it with, with uh, House of the Dragon. But narratively, like I said, like... the. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to trust these showrunners that HBO is picking creatively. Like, y'all need to get that to y'all need to get that together and stop playing with me. So let me know what y'all think because I'm just gonna keep going and ranting and ranting. So let me know what y'all think about this prospect. I think it could be fun, but a part of me thinks that most of it would just be fan service, us dreaming about retconning season eight. Like, so I I just think back in time. It's the best way to go um, when it comes to this series and HBO. If we're gonna have to, you know, deal with HBO, like just go back in time. Show us even further. I mean, y'all could go to the Bloodstone Emperor if, if y'all have to. Like, just I, I just don't think HBO is gonna handle like future events at events that come after uh, season eight really well at this point. Just because like <laughs> I just don't think so. But let me know what y'all think. Love y'all so much, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. All right, y'all, make sure that you're going to www.zaraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt uh, from my upcoming book. So you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life. Uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book, the sequel, is following up the first book that is already released called Zaraxia Wrath of the God King. 
Um, I released it a couple years ago, a few years ago. It was my, really, it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff. So just go easy on me. But either way, as you can see here, it's giving 4.9 stars. It's giving 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zaraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zaraxia, the Vengeance of Cold Wind, right? And go to Zaraxia.com, sign up, join the waitlist, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.